for us to, to pull out a, a W, not shooting the ball well. And, and I give them a lot of credit. They've played a lot of teams tough. Their guards, um, uh, I thought their guards were great. They, they, uh, they really just controlled the tempo of the game. And, you know, sometimes you, you got to find a way to win. You don't make shots. We just couldn't buy a shot. We couldn't buy one. And, um, uh, and we found a way. So we're going to take that. We take it. That we, we, we learned how to win the game. We just couldn't make a shot. And I thought we took care of the ball better. That was good for us. Um, and I, I just give I give NJIT a lot of credit. You know, they played three teams in our Big East in, in our conference, really tough, and, and they played us tough. Jay, you said that you couldn't buy a shot. Most coaches would say they turn it over to the defense. Do you think that was the story for you tonight, forcing a turnover? Yeah, you know, we, we did enough to win. You know, I, I actually was a little disappointed in our defense. I, I thought, probably for us, earlier in the season, a game like that, we might have turned the ball over more, and that might have cost us the game. I thought we took care of the ball really well, and they were changing defense. They, they played some zone, they played a little matchup, played man to man, and I thought we handled that pretty well. Uh, like I said, we just couldn't make a shot. Um, our defense was okay. It, it's got to it's got to get a lot better. I, I, I thought we just got every time we got a like it got it to eight, we relaxed defensively. We stupid foul, beat on a backdoor cut, you know. And, and that our consistency is not where I'd I like it to be. Um, but, you know, you, you move on. You learn from it, you move on. Jay, for a long time, the longest time, you had three starters who still hadn't made a field goal, James Muth and uh, Darren. Yeah. What do you tell those guys in, in a situation like that? Well, you know, we, we, we can talk a lot, Joe, about the fact that we have to make our, we have to make our depth a, a positive. You know, if, if guys are not making shots and somebody else comes in and, and, and it affects them, then our depth's not a positive. But I thought... Um, James came back, played well defensively in the second half. I thought um, Move came back, gave us a little spark in the second half, and Darren really played well. But they, you know, I don't think they let it get to them. I thought that was good. You know, I thought they came back in the second half and played better. So, how does a game like that prepare you for what's what's to come now in the Big East? Well, I, I think we we learned. You know, this was very similar to the Columbia game, except for the fact we didn't turn the ball over. You know, that team, if we would have turned the ball over a little bit more, they were, those guards were pretty quick. They would have scored in transition. We would have been in big trouble. So I thought taking care of the basketball was big. I thought we learned we could come into a game and not make shots and find a way to win um, and, and, and find a way to grind it out. I thought we did a good job of that, especially down the stretch. We had some really good defensive possessions down the stretch and, um, and actually got some stops that got us some transition baskets. What's it say that you have two freshmen on the day this week? Yeah. That is, uh, that says the future's bright. <laughs> that says we might have some more inconsistent games. Um, but I, I'm really, uh, I'm proud of these guys. And, um, you know, uh, I think you're referring to Daniel, too. Daniel did a, we had Daniel at the end of the game there, and, and, and he defensively did a really good job. So we've got a lot of growth. We have the possibility for a lot of growth, and that, that excites me. Jay, when they tied it up at 51, it looked like Jay Vaughn got a little more aggressive there. Can you talk about... His, he's, he scored six or eight points after yeah. that. He, he did. That's um, that's a beautiful thing of Javon. <laughs> the fact that he wasn't aggressive in the first half is one of the challenging things about Javon. But he's he's gonna he he is really one of the most coachable guys I've ever had. You know, and um, you know, in a, in a time like that, and that's why we have him in there. You know, he's gonna make plays, and not just make plays, make the right plays. He threw some good passes in there. I thought you know, the first time he got the ball in the post in the second half, they doubled him. He skipped an opposite from Tony Schell, a great pass. I mean, he's really seeing how teams are playing him. And, uh, you know, and I think he can get a lot better, too. Javon, it seemed like at that point in the game, you kind of decided you were going to take it over a little bit. Can you talk about that? And can you talk about why does it seem like it's hard for you to do that more of the time, I guess? I don't think it's uh, tough for us, for me, to uh, Play consistent. It's just finding the right spots that I can be effective in the right um, spots in our offense. I can do what I do. And it's just I gotta keep um, learning how to find my ways in our offense to um, score and get other people shots. Is that getting a little bit easier? It seems like every game we're seeing like flashes. Yeah, it's, it's getting a little easier for me because once I see the double team, I'm kicking out. I'm screening and I'm getting my, um, my teammates involved. And then once I get my teammates involved, they might get, make a shot. It's going to be easier for me to get uh, to the basket or get fouled. 
Jay, a few weeks ago we talked about like the team's overall shooting, and you were pretty pleased with the shot selection. You said they weren't falling. Is that the case again uh, this evening? Yeah, I told the guys at halftime, I thought we played outstanding offense in the first half. I really did. We only had three turnovers. We had wide open shots, and uh, we just didn't hit them. You know, that happens sometimes. And good teams find a way to win. You know, we, we were still up five. And if we would hit a few shots, we ended up 12, 15, you know. And, um, but as a young team, we're, we're trying to get our guys to learn that when we're not making shots, it can affect us defensively. I thought we thought we lost a little bit of our uh, aggressiveness defensively because we weren't making shots. Don't get a little frustrated. Um, but overall, for the game, I thought we, I really thought we got to the foul line. We, we made extra passes. You know, we only had eight turnovers. We had wide open shots for the right people. Just didn't make shots. And, and sometimes you got to find the last two games we made drill threes. So I really feel good about the fact that we found a way to win. And that, that's a pretty good team. I mean, they, they, they've given a lot of teams a really tough time. Brian, how does a test like this prepare you for uh, what's ahead in the Big East? Coach has been talking about just the Big East and how just to trust them on everything in practice, how hard they can go every single day. And I think, like the coach was saying, this, this team, we played three teams in the Big East, very tough. They were up 12 at the in St. John's. Lost by one team in Providence. We've seen all of I knew going into this game that it was going to be a battle for 40 minutes, but I'm just hoping this will prepare me for the Big East. Brian, you, you sort of had, had, have had your ups and downs shooting this year, too. Can you talk about, as a shooter, how hard is it to kind of keep that confidence going like uh, on a night like tonight and just in general? Uh, I, like my uh, like coach was saying, we, got, we found each other open shots. And, but we, we weren't hitting them, but the coach just tells us to um, just keep shooting, and that's what I did. I don't know, I just I hit a few in the first half and then couldn't buy a buck in the second half. But I thought we shared the ball really well, got the open shots that we wanted. You guys, kind of that little, little jumper you had in the lane looked like you kind of lost possession for a second, got it back, and hit that shot. What you guys have? Uh, yeah, we just we just run a high ball screen, and then I was just I kind of lost a little bit. The uh, big man was kind of sagging off me, so coach wants me to be aggressive coming off that screen, so that's what I did. So I found the shot. Um, Brian, it hasn't all been pretty, but you've won five straight. You're nine and four. Can you talk about what the team's like confidence level is right now as you enter the Big East? Uh, we're definitely excited to start the Big East to, to go on a five-game winning streak. We're, we're pretty excited when we know that it's, you know, we're going to have to have a step up notch both on the court um, during the games and in practice. That's where we're going to have to take big steps and just every day and just keep working and trying to be the best that we can be. Coach, your next couple of games, I mean, from now on it's all Big East. Is there anything you can kind of take from the last five games have all been wins um, from this game in particular that, that you can say that you're ready or you're not ready for those? Well, I think the Big East is going to be the same way for us um, in terms of we're going to have to keep getting better every game. Um, but I do think we've gotten a lot better offensively in terms of taking care of the basketball. Even though we had 19 turnovers against uh, Lama, that was a high volume game. We, you know, it was uh, a lot of possessions. We had 17 assists in that game. So I feel better about that. And one of the things, I, as a coach, I always feel better when you get the Big East games because you, you know you don't have to convince these guys to be, to be ready to play. When, when you have an older team, you don't have to worry about that. But when you have a younger team, sometimes they, they, they don't understand how important every game is. Uh, I think our Columbia game, we learned that. But um, it, it kind of, when you get to the Big East as a coach, it's, it's, it's kind of pure. You know it's just basketball. You don't have to worry about them, are they ready to play or not. Jay, how would you feel compared to last year when you beat American heading into the Big East play with that team as compared to this year with this group and what they've done? Uh, it's interesting. I, it's hard for me to remember what I felt at this time of year last year. Um, I know I usually always feel good <laughs> until like right at the end. If I, if I, you know, I always feel good about our team. Um, but I, I, I just think this group has, has tremendous room for improvement. I, I really do. And, and I... And I they're, they're very coachable in practice, um, so I, re I really look forward to it. I, I look forward to the Big East. I think, you know, with the St. John's game, I think our guys have gone through a lot. They've gone through some tough games on the road. They've gone through a game now where they don't make any shots, play against a good team that kind of controls the tempo of the game. Um, you know, again, this was like the Columbia game. We, we just handled this a lot better. 
and uh, I, I think we've improved a lot. And I, and I think um, I think we're ready for the Big East. I do, but I think we're going to have to keep getting better <laughs> throughout the Big East season to, to, to be good in, in the Big East. Coach, what specifically are some of the things that you would like to see the team improve in? Um, our, our three-point field goal percentage defense is, is uh, just, it's, I, I've just been really disappointed, you know, I'm, I'm, we just got to keep working at it, um, even tonight, you know, you know, a team like that, you don't, you don't let them get threes, and it's, it's tough for them to be in a game with you, but, um, and, and take care of the basketball, I'd probably say those two areas the most, um, rebounding wasn't a concern, but it started to become one the last couple games. So, um, like I said, we have a lot of room for improvement, but I'd say they're in three areas. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you, guys. Happy New Year, everybody.